arena. On we have four electric Pokemon. This match is going to be shocking. On the blue corner, we have Luxray, Flappy, and Remoraid. And the red corner is sporting in Ampharos, Pikachu, and Shroomish. Switching is disabled during this normal type match under normal rules. Love that Magikarp theme. I love it. Magikarp Festival has a really intense theme. And I do enjoy it myself. So looking at these Pokemon, is there anything you want us to know about this? Well, with the switching off, that means we'll be starting in the middle and working our way out. So just taking a look at the last two Pokemon here, it looks like Shroomish does have an advantage over that Remoraid, but if Remoraid is able to connect with Gunk Shot, that could do some massive damage back to Shroomish. And just over two minutes, 30 seconds left. Get your inputs in. Looks like right now everyone's betting on the blue corner. Or sorry, the red corner. Yeah, Arn heavily in favor of the blue team taking it home and the red team getting a payout. But anything can happen, and there's still plenty of time to bet if you would like to get in on this match. Valid username 16, our new number one person on our leaderboard, is going all in on this match. High stakes for the blue team now. High stakes, high rewards, however. The bets continue of... to pour in here as we're down to about 100 seconds left in the betting period. Lots of people betting on the red corner here. They are the underdogs due to that all-in bet on the blue corner. We might have ourselves a new number one after this match, or the number one will just push themselves further ahead. Anything is possible here at PBR. And once again, we thank you guys for watching Twitch Plays Pokemon, Twitch's original Twitch Plays. If you're ever confused on how to bet, if you want to bet on the red corner, you would whisper to TPP, bet 500 red. Or no, no, I'm sorry, that's the old way of doing it. I, I messed that up. No, that's don't do how that. you'd like to figure out your balance. If you'd like to figure out your balance, whisper to TPP your balance. If you would like to bet on the blue team or the red team, just type in exclamation point bet, the amount you'd like to bet, and then whichever team you, you'd like to place that on. And of course, any new person on this stream will start out with 1,000 Poke Yen. Your balance will never fall below 100 if you are just a regular viewer, 500 if you're a subscriber. With 30 seconds left, get your bets in now. Odds have evened out for this match. Yes, it looks like we have just about 1-to-1 one -one odds. Very, very close, as either team could take this one. 15 seconds left in the bidding period. This is going to be a very shocking match with four electric types right off the bat. Fortunately, none of them have Volt Absorb, so if they'd like to use their electric attacks, they are able to do so. The battle is now underway here as we travel to the Neon Coliseum. The blue and corner will send out their Luxray first, the red corner, their Ampharos. If I'm not mistaken, this is actually the right Coliseum for this music. I believe it is, actually. You are correct on that. So let's go with those Pog Champs. Correct here on the Coliseum. Luxray and Ampharos are ready to go. Luxray will be moving first and goes in with a Toxic. Badly poisoning the Ampharos here. Ampharos decides to respond to that with a Dragon Pulse. All it, solid hit here from the Ampharos as it suffers from its poison. Luxray down, a little bit lower health than Ampharos though. Ampharos is badly poisoned, however. Luxray goes for a light screen, raising its team's special defense. That'll be very nice here against the Dragon Pulse as Ampharos comes in with yet another one. Very good call on the blue corner there. Ampharos taking a much more hit from the poison there. That's gonna keep increasing every turn. Luxray goes with a Thunderbolt this time. It's not very effective, but takes Ampharos to around half health. Ampharos goes with another Dragon Pulse. Nice light hit on the Luxray. Ampharos takes a little bit more poison. It's just over one quarter health now. 
Luxray goes again for Thunderbolts. Oh, but Ampharos holds on, so Ampharos will get to respond with one more move, and it goes for a heal bell, so it actually will survive this turn. Very clutch decision there by the red corner. Ampharos barely holding on as Luxray goes for a Thunderbolt. That's going to take down Ampharos. That heal bell was for naught, so unfortunately Ampharos will faint, and Pikachu will need to be sent in for the red team. Red team still the underdogs in this match here with 115% potential payout should they win. Pikachu is a typically fast Pokemon here, so it looks to outspeed Luxray. Pikachu going for Mud Slap here. Extremely light hit. It is a light hit, but Luxray's accuracy will be down, so there is a chance it could miss. Unfortunately, that does not happen, and Luxray's Toxic will connect on Pikachu, badly poisoning it. Pikachu feeling the sting of that poison as Light Screen wears off of the blue corner. Pikachu, moving first, goes for another Mud Slap, lowering the accuracy once again of Luxray. Doesn't matter, Luxray goes down! Luxray does faint, but Pikachu suffers from a little bit more from its poison. And Flappy comes out for the blue corner here. It's now two on two for each team. Pikachu badly poisoned, however. Pikachu going for that mud slap once again. Super effective on the Flappy, taking it down to one or sorry, three quarters health. Pretty solid hit there as Flaffy's accuracy falls. Flaffy goes for an agility, and now we have ourselves a fast sheep. Very fast sheep. Pikachu takes a little bit more poison damage there. Flaffy moving first this turn, goes for Brick Break. That's gonna miss. Accuracy drop paying off here for the red corner as they come in with another Mud Slap here. This will lower Flaffy's accuracy even further. Flappy might not be able to hit anything after this match. Pikachu suffers from its poison. It's now getting down to dangerously low levels. Both corners still about even health here. Flappy tries for Thunderbolt and misses. Pikachu once again going for another Mud Slap. Flappy is now at minus three for its accuracy and I believe it's now a base 50% if I'm not mistaken. You are correct on that. Pikachu almost down from poison. Flappy almost down at 68 health right now. Flappy going for a signal beam. This one will hit Pikachu, however. A critical hit takes it down. Pikachu did a very nice job there on Flappy, getting its accuracy incredibly low. So with that, now Shroomish will be taking over for the red team. Flappy barely holding on still. It's got very low accuracy versus a full health Shroomish. But it does get a single beam off. That's going to be super effective on the Shroomish here. Shroomish goes down to about half health after that hit, and it comes in with a facade. Nice smart move there by Shroomish. Oh, Flappy holds on. Flappy holds on, and Shroomish is poisoned by its toxic orb, so it looks to get some health back next turn. That is if Flappy doesn't finish it off this turn. And Flappy will miss with a Thunderbolt attack here as Shroomus goes for a facade once again. Down goes Flappy. The tides have turned on this match now. Shroomus with the type advantage over Remoraid. Restores a little bit of its HP there thanks to its ability. Thank you to the subscription from 1 in 256 miss. Here comes Remoraid, the last Pokemon from the blue corner, the last Pokemon from the red corner. The end of this battle is getting closer by the moment. Remoraid connects with a gunk shot. This looks to do huge damage on Shroomish. And it's down. The dream is now over for the blue, sorry, the red corner. The blue corner getting their payout and our number one player still at number one. Congratulations to everyone on the blue team. You can do enjoy an 86% payout. Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, that brings back memories. There was a Thomas the Tank Engine game. 
Apparently so, for the SNES, back in 1993. Many moons ago. Yes, indeed. One year after I was born, actually. Man, this song's getting intense. Really started picking up there, kind of like a train. Hold on. Wait a second. And it is now time for our, our hourly break. Oh, Felk. I, I'm very sure that people are going to spot that. <laughs> Get your token match bids in right now. We have two of them up for grabs for you right now. And also, guess for who's that Pokemon? Hit number one, a legendary Pokemon is Sinnoh. It is said that time flows when question mark heart beats. Clue number two. Over 300 million years ago, it was feared as the strongest of hunters. It has been modified by Team Plasma. And hint number three. This Pokemon existed 300 million years ago. Team Plasma altered it and attached a cannon to its back. Wow, that seems kind of hardcore. Pokemon cruelty, maybe? That is a little bit of Pokemon cruelty, but it has been around for 300 million years. That is very impressive. Indeed. You know, don't say anything to chat, but I think the 300 million years hint alone rules out which of those hints is false. I, I was I was going to agree with you, except I've started thinking, is it is it Dialga? I'm actually not sure, to be perfectly honest. I, I'm pretty sure it is, actually. But the other one does say it's a legendary Pokemon from Sinnoh, and that is still right. And it's talking about time, which Dialga is the time Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Because it has Roar of Time! And again, we'd like to thank you for watching, subscribing, and donating to Twitch Plays Pokemon. Twitch's original Twitch Plays, launched in 2014, could not be made possible without donations from viewers like you. Thank you. And another thing to note about the subscriptions, when you're a subscriber to the stream, you can never fall below 500 Poke Yen. So if you're looking to climb up the leaderboards, that is a good way to get yourself started here, right at the beginning of the season. As we get a subscription coming in from Avius Ninja, is I saying that right? Avis Ninja? Avis Ninja, yes. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Wow, these token matches are getting expensive now. Look at that. 16 tokens for the Metronome Match of the Hour. E -E -O. 22 tokens now. Oh, man. Some people really like the electric rat match. Ooh, it has just dropped off as we are now back to Metronome. Big money, big prizes. I love it. It's actually Genesect. We were both wrong. We were both wrong. Wow, we are tryhards. Yes, we are. Hey, get your inputs in. It's Pokemon Dark Greystone here. One token on the line as we are looking to select A here, actually. And again, your next Pokemon run, Pokemon Blaze Glaze Donuts, coming up in less than 34 days. Little over one month away. One token is up for grabs. Oh no, two tokens two. are up for grabs yes. here. Congratulations to Leones and someone else I can't read their name right now. 